Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Neo Cipher Zero, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. Wake on up, May. We got a fucking adventure to go on today, because uh, we're going to be finding the the ghost person. I don't know what to really call it, but uh, we're going on an adventure with our friends to hopefully find some more clues about the ghost. Let's just see who's messaging us. Last night inspired me. For the longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Okay, thanks, B. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. <laughs> All right, Greg, sounds good. Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. How very smart of you, Angus. Okay. All right, so let's head on out and see what today's adventure is going to be. Uh, I don't know if we get to choose, like, who we go with this time. Because uh, we have three places that we have to go. Hello, Mom. You didn't call for us, but we're going to talk to you anyway. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Excuse me. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working. Kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. <laughs> Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with me. That sounds nice. It was. Weird? Interesting. <laughs> okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Indeed it does. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Bye, Mom. Alright. So, at least we're not fighting with Mom anymore. That's good. Hey, what's up, Selmers? You got some poetry for us? Hey, Selmers, you were great last night. Oh, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I'm good for that. What a hairdo poem. Sure! This is a short one because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. Ahem. I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. Wow. That, that was a really in-depth poem. That was really short. <laughs> what were you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Okay then, I guess we're moving on. On to bigger and better things. Not that there's much better than Selmer's, but, you know, we're, we're gonna try. Let's go feed the rats. I feel like I really haven't done that in, in a while. So, let's just go do that. Squirrely, hi, Squirrely. How you doing, Squirrely? Get out of here, old man Jenkins. Hey. Hello, rat friends. Mama's got a pretzel for ya. All right, my little miracle rats, time to eat. There you go. Grab it. There you go. Hey, get on the pretzel. There you go. Holy shit, there's more. Wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore. And you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other by? Probably not. I love you, miracle rats. <laughs> Aww. I got a Miracle Rats achievement. That's lovely. That's cute. All right. On to business. Whoa, I wanted to go upstairs game. Thank you. Let's check out the old pickaxe and see what B's up to. Hey, B. How you doing, girl? Hey, May. I think I'm going to burn this place down. Oh, cool. Let me help. <laughs> but also, maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. <laughs> what if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. 
You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So work's not going well, huh? Ugh. Okay, I'll actually do it. <laughs> Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. You've convinced me, B. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Not today. Actually... Yeah, let's go ahead and do bees first, and then we'll do Angus, and we'll save Greg for last. So let's go ahead and get the graveyard done. Let's, let's, let's hit, let's, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of something clever to say and did not smart, so. Foggy! <laughs> Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know, good spooky. I get really sad because there's not here, because it's not here year round. All right then. Fog is kind of nice sometimes. Kind of spooky sometimes, but kind of nice sometimes. Obviously not if you have to drive in it though. <laughs> well, there's the statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were like actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but like, whatever. <laughs> So we wait here. Yeah. And a ghost shows up. Maybe. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Well then. Are we actually just waiting here? No, any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh... Things are, like, monumentally screwed right now, and no one in power gives a shit. <laughs> or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez. I meant, like, a skeleton or something. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something, and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night, a skeleton outside your window. I think the hallway is scarier. A regular stranger dude in your hallway at night. And he's got a knife. Or and he's whispering things. How about a knife? And he's a pharmaceutical CEO. What? And he jacked up the price of meds that keep people from dying. Um and he's a skeleton. <laughs> Oh yeah, skeleton CEO with a knife. All the things you're afraid of are boring. <laughs> the scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? This is dumb, let's go. Alright, well, that was fun. We accomplished absolutely nothing. Are we going to get spooked up here? Okay, so... I'm going to go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, B! Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying. When I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. <laughs> it's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. Alright. So where are we headed? We're just following B? Ooh. Looks kind of spooky. What's with all the red, uh... Like, ash and stuff, or whatever the hell it is. We could talk to B. Let's save that for a little later. Let's go check out some other stuff. See if there's anything to be seen spooky. What do we got here? Rose. Aged 95 years. Okay, let's wipe all the leaves off. Hmm, standard headstone. Nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 
Can't really be sad about this. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. <laughs> she had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like, any horse you can think of. She saw us from horse... She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. <laughs> Interesting. Let's find some more. Alright. What we got here? Catherine Fish. Taken by flu. 14 years old? That's sad. Oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. That's not enough time. Yeah, that's really not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. You should get off at least one good sentence in life. What? 14 year olds can make sentences. Come on. Alright, who else we got? Anybody? Anything cool? Brad Boyson. He's got a bike on his grave. What's up, Brad Boyson? Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. Uh, he crashed his bike. He was hit by a bike. That sounds more fun, but... <laughs> he loved his bike. Uh, let's guess he loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. Aw, so right. Jeez, B. How long does a mom visit take? Tick-tock, Beatrice. We got places to be. What places do we got to be? Holy crap, I am a jerk. Yeah, you are. You really are, May. How dare you? Let's go check on our friend Beatrice. Oh, there you are, B. How you doing? Hey, uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Aw. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? <laughs> We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet, here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. Ooh, and like, voices. Huh, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh, yeah, sure. So how do we get up there? Oh, I tried jumping on this before and I could Whoa, what just happened? What's going on? Is the game lagging? Or is that just spoops going on? I think it's just the game lagging. <laughs> all right, let's see what, ooh, it's getting all red and ominous. Um, what the fuck goes on here? Oh, weird travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers, man. Observers. Meddlers. Teens. They're weird teens. Oh. Awkward silence. All right, well. We are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall. Oh, we govern who shall pass, and who shall remain. All right. Well, answer us these questions truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay. 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 Fine. Whatever. Get on with it. First question, have you ever done it? Uh, you can just call it sex. <laughs> We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if May's ever done that. Uh, let's just say no. Never got around to it. Oh man, that makes us lame, right? Not really, I don't know. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. 
Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Uh, you don't know him? It was at math camp. Math camp? <laughs> What's math camp? You go and do, like, math stuff and camp stuff and apparently have lots of sex. <laughs> it wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. Wow. This is boring. Next question. Geez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, you don't want... Yeah, you don't want to... Yeah, don't you want to, like, ask something spooky at least? Dream date! Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring! You? Wrestling. <laughs> like you're gonna wrestle or you're gonna watch wrestling. Or, like, that's a question, never mind. Uh, I could wrestle. <laughs> I don't care if it's a guy or girl, but they'd have to be like, grr. <laughs> because I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. <laughs> so you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. But then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. It's actually really sweet. Yeah, in a weird way, it does kind of sound sweet, I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> that's it? What were you expecting? Okay, that sucks. Now you go. Uh, oh god. One time in junior high, one time in high school, one time in college. Let's go with high school. One time with high school, I went to the prom with this guy, Cole. Oh, wow. I've been waiting. I've been wanting this story for years. And it was awkward, and I had to wear a dress, and I couldn't slow dance. And he was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him, but somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. What? <laughs> you bit him? How bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I, like, rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels. So I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth. And I overdo it, and he starts choking and, like, fighting back. And I'm, like, chowing down on candy almonds. <laughs> this sounds like a disaster. From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. So I'm, like, plowing through these almonds. And one gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole has, like, slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give myself the Heimlich maneuver, <laughs> and it works, but but I puke all over coal. <laughs> Chicken cordon blue. Ugh. This is amazing. Right then, someone walks in and sees Cole dazed and bleeding and choking, and me puking into the sink. So I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth, and for some reason, I think to flush them down the toilet, and that makes it overflow. So I grabbed Cole and pulled him out of the bathroom, <laughs> both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water, and he ran away and left, and he was my ride. How did you get home? <laughs> what the fuck kind of story is this? That kid Josh who rode his tractor to prom, so we're slowly driving to my house, cars slowing down and honking, while I'm on the back crying my eyes out. <laughs> wow, that was seriously messed up. May, I, I, I have nightmares about it like once a week. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Jeez. Me too, dude. <laughs> Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna top that. You've come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along, man. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I hate everything right now. <laughs> Forget it. Let's go. All right. 
Awkward moment. Hooray. Jump, jump for joy. Alright, let's see what actually happens once we get down here. If anything interesting or cool happens, or spooky, or scary. So like, ghosts. Ghosts? I don't know if I believe in them, but... Yeah. So you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously it's dreams. Definitely dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like... Did you ever see my mom? Uh... I don't- I don't know. I think we should just say no. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were like... People. They're... Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like... Echoes? Echoes of shit that happened and people that were here? Hmm. Oh. Trust me, none of the places looked like super much fun. <laughs> Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. Haha, <laughs> that's like... I appreciate you trying to turn this around. Doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is we're locked out by that big-ass gate. Ugh, why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out? <laughs> and stop what you're probably gonna do? Hmm, yeah. We'll never know for sure. Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out. I'll be back. Alright. So now we gotta get out of here by busting down some old gate. Wonderful. Okay. So, the trick here, I guess, is to jump onto these roofs, maybe? Let's get a one, two, three, onto that. And then, yep, and yep. Boom. Boom. Okay, got it. Cool. Now what? Can I break this? I think I can break it. Uh-oh. Well, we might have gotten hurt. <laughs> uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see? I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. Ah, my recording fucked up. Uh, but it's okay, I think I saved it. So, no worries, I guess, I think. So what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find Little Joe's grave. And if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. <laughs> you're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Okay, so we were breaking into this section of the graveyard then. Okay. Moving along then. Hopefully we find something cool. <laughs> What's this? Joe Shade? Yeah, this is him. Ground here's all swampy. Ugh, gross. So what do we do here? Um, I'm gonna just look around. For ghosts. Ugh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May, I am here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. So what do we do then? Find... Little Joe, or whatever his name is. Any ghosts over there? No, B. You'd know. I'd say. Haha, <laughs> okay. Found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. Alright then. Nothing interesting so far. Can we talk to B? No. Just look some more. This grave is for a horse, I think. Horse grave? I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine those big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Anything else? Let's talk to B now. This is stupid. <laughs> what were you expecting? Something. 
It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his shit up. Uh, whoa, dude, hold up, no. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Oh god, we're actually doing it. What the fuck? May! Holy shit. Holy shit. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh crap. So we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not gonna open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. We've got more a uh, Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We, we are leaving. <laughs> Aren't you kind of curious at least? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Oh, God. Time to open the coffin. Okay. Er, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, shaky, shaky. Do I have to grab this handle thing? There we go. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> so what, foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh God. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. Okay, fine, geez. Run! Someone's watching. Oh, it's the ghost! It was- that's the ghost we were looking for! Why did we just run? Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine, but he was there. May, it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who is ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Ah, I saw the effing ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know. Ah, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Crimes, am I right? Oh, we're just home after all that. Oh boy, here comes the fun voice. Hey, Dad. Hey, yo. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, you're intense, Dad. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. All right, to bed. We can Actually, let's check the computer to see if anyone's talking to us. Maybe. Let's see what B has to say. Hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. Oh, that sounds nice. What's up? Well, not the bills part, but the grilled cheese. I'm hungry now. <laughs> hey, sorry I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? How, how about that ghost, though? 
May, seriously, it was the groundskeeper. Question marks? I thought you believed in ghosts. Ghosts. I do. Kinda. I think. Why couldn't that have been a ghost? I just don't assume every person is a ghost. Everyone could be a ghost. Am I a ghost, May? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Just haunting me forever. I'd make you learn how to drive at the very least. But anyway... How could you even make him out anyway? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy, or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah, fine, whatever. I'm sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove. You came with me. Okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Go get some sleep. You need it. So do I. So, uh, I so do. <laughs> night, dude. Good night. Greg, my boy. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery. And we accidentally opened, like, opened a coffin. It was, like, totally the corpse of the ghost. Or, you know what I mean. Whoa! And it was like effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed with his grave. Ugh, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job on, like, all of that. You know it, dude. Good night as hell, bruh. <laughs> Good night as F. Oh my god, Greg. You're so precious. I definitely want to get to Greg's, uh thing but where we hang out with him but i'll save that for last just because it's probably going to be the most fun bedtime uh yeah let's see if we have any crazy ass dreams take off my little booties and head on to bed sleep time oh it's dream time are those stars they look like stars they're twinkling isn't it lovely? The vast wonders of space. Am I actually, like, supposed to do anything? I can move. I can't... Oh! Okay. Now I'm starting to come into view. There we go. This is a weird dream. This isn't like my other dreams. I can't... That's not a thing I can walk on. Okay. What's going on? There's like explosions in the background. Maybe maybe they're just fireworks. But maybe they're there's a city being bombed. I don't know. Maybe that's too drastic for a game like this. Am I just running? Oh. Ooh. Eclipse? Maybe. What's going on? What the fuck? Is that a giant kitty cat? Hello? It's a giant cat. Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. What kind of voice should I give this thing then? Are you... God? No. <laughs> oh. So, seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God, and I am asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. You can't see, I don't know. You are seeing what you are wishing, little creature. Uh... So, what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are, what are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? They were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... 
A great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear, and now they are gone, and now you are here. What? <laughs> a tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air, and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Oh. Okay, vision time. Ooh. Is that a flea? Or a tick? Or something? What the hell? That's gross. Ugh. Oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Uh, closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember. Is everything, does everything you say start with and? Not. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the whole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. Uh, what about my home? The leaves. Uh, let's ask about home and friends. Soon they are dying. Soon, they are rotting. You are atoms, and your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Oh, that's deep, bro. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? I was chosen to see all this. Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again, and the universe is forgetting you, and I am remembering you, but not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago, <laughs> the end is moments away. There is no time to forget, before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. What the fuck is this supposed to mean? I am confused as hell. Okay, I have lots of questions, but uh, may maybe they'll be answered in the next episode, because this is where I'm going to leave this one, guys. But uh, that one was fucking weird. I don't know. It's, I just, it's really, that was really fucking weird. Going to the whole cemetery thing was weird with B, and then the dream was really weird, and I don't know what it means. Like, I'm really lost on that, so... I don't know, guys. This has been a confusing episode. But I suppose we'll get to find out what's going on in a future episode. In the next one, I think I'm going to hang out with Angus and see what there is to see in his story. And like I said, I'll, I'll probably save Greg as the last one. So we'll, uh, we'll have a couple of interesting episodes, I guess, in the next two, at least. So we'll see how it goes. But for now, guys, thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed this episode, click that like button's ass for me, please. And until next time, guys, have a nice day.